Hey world and welcome back to Stuff We Do, where we do all the knife stuff we love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives. Today we are seasoning our Dixies. Okay, so here I have the two, um, it's a mess kit. I got it from the army surplus store or military surplus store. And now we're going to season it. If you season something, then it lasts longer and it gets like almost a non-stick coating. It's the same theory that happens with cast iron cookware okay but with aluminium or aluminium but anyway this fire is still way too hot it needs to be a slow yeah like a slow burn we just want to burn the oil into it and not burn the oil okay so all we're gonna need is the actual things you want to season they have been washed with soap and warm water and then I have a bit of, what do you call this, um, kitchen towel, that stuff, and sunflower oil. Okay, the fire is still a bit hot, but it looks like it's going to rain now. So, let's do this. Okay, I'm just going to pour some oil in there. Take this thing and rub it all over so there's a very thin layer. Okay, so you want it something like this. You want it coated everywhere, but you don't want it to pool. Now... We are going to put that there and there and then we want to see it smoke off and not burn yes so now we wait okay i don't know if you can see a color change but it's starting to smoke can you see that okay slightly smoking but like i said you don't want it to burn you just want it to dry on there pretty much then you're gonna wash it again and then you're gonna repeat this a few times and then it will be beautifully seasoned okay so now once this is well once it looks dry you don't actually want that can you see there's thicker ridges in there we don't really want that so you're gonna wash it and redo and wash and redo a few times anyway now once this is done uh, you don't want to scratch this or use abrasives when you are cleaning it if you do then you have to re-season it afterwards again um, also, don't let it stand with water in it for a long time. And um, remember these things, you can fry in them, but they were mostly made for uh, boiling things. Okay, or to just eat out of, if you, yeah. Anyway, um, and this is what I'm putting inside. My nifty new spork cut can opener cap lifter spoon. And my little Gore-Tec Pioneer, because I haven't found a real use for it yet. But I still hate this sheath, so maybe we'll make a new sheath for that at some stage. Okay, the one looks almost completely dry, the other one not yet. Uh, it's actually easier to do this on a stovetop or in an oven. Okay, so yeah. while... We are busy with our second coat. I don't know if you can see any color on this yet. My little ins decided to bry marshmallows because we have a fire. So now we are brying marshmallows and seasoning my Dixie mess kit. Um, important thing, don't make this stuff too thick, otherwise it gets gummy and horrible. So these ones, you can see they're nice and lightly coated. Sorry, I'm melting my phone here over the fire. Um, so they're lightly coated you will see a slight color change I don't know if you can actually see that and the marshmallows are looking delicious we're doing blueberry today okay here's these two I'm done with them now um, okay so I did cook something in it we'll do an actual cooking video tomorrow this one made a bit of a discoloration um because i was actually using it on the open fire but you can actually feel the film that the oil created this one looks better um okay and i did use my fork so we did scratch it a little bit but you can still feel that film in there it's like different okay i have some minor discolorations and scratches on the bottom now but they will wear and get character over time wonderful things okay it's late now 
I'm going to leave this and tomorrow morning we will make like, I don't know, hobo stew or something in here. Um, these things are wonderful. Like I said, they nestle into each other like a champion. You can put all of your other things in the air. Wonderful things. Dixie kit. Okay, and I used my... I cannot remember the name. The Patriot, whatever. This Gore-Tex knife. I the knife is fantastic. It was the sheath that sucked. So... This is the new sheath, and I added the weld in there. I'm waiting for this thing to dry, then I'm going to grind and sand it. Yes, that's a banana and the leg of Pinocchio. Um, I use normal bread, what do you call it, wood glue. Um, and then when it's dry, I'll see if I'm going to stitch it or pin nails or something at the bottom I don't know yet and then that will be my new sheath for my new cook set this is the next morning I have my portable gas stove here now let's put this thing oh and of course it's upside down okay I love this little thing okay Take this thing, turn it around, and I can put a thing on there, it weighs almost nothing. In here it's got one of these whatever canisters, and then when you lock it, it presses it into place. It can only go one way, can you see that? So you press that and then it clicks in there, and then when you turn this knob, we have flames and fire. Okay, now let's turn this off again. Um, on this thing, I am going to... Oh, this is my sheath so far. We'll finish that later today. Um, I just need to sand it and sew it and whatnot. So it's only been glued at this stage for my little... What's this thing called? Gore-Tec. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay, here's our... My kid is sick. Okay, so here's our beautiful... Dixies, and we are going to use that to make. Okay, in the old days, um, well, old days, I'm going to lie to you now, but during the uh, border war, the only thing my father keeps talking about is bully beef and condensed milk. Now, this is bull brand, but it's Vienna's in brine. And what's this stuff? Spaghetti. Okay, so me and the little one will be eating that now made in our Dixie. But now first I want to see if I can open these cans, these cans with my spork tool. Okay, we've got a guy wheat eating. Okay, I had to bend this thing a little bit, otherwise it didn't want to hook. So you can open a can with this thing. It's maybe not the worst one I've ever had, but I must say, if it's not the apocalypse, use something else. Or if you are hiding somewhere. Um, yeah, so like I said, you can do this, but it's not easy. So I'm going to open this with a knife or something and then we'll continue. Okay, my wife is laughing her face off. She is telling me that I am ridiculous, but yeah, um, let's just sausages these things are normally quite horrible but who cares okay you're not supposed to actually scratch your pot after you've seasoned it but yeah life happens deliciously soggy wieners <laughs> okay Mm-hmm, delicious. And then... Spaghettos. Yummy. Okay. And there we go. I'm going to eat this stuff up. Pretend it's the best thing in the world. See if my kids will eat it. 
and then I'm done with this whole cooking thing for now. I will be stirring it with my super useful spork. I'm actually quite impressed with my 32 rand um, spork. I have one of those actual sporks, but I don't know. I don't like spoons with teeth on the front, so this actually works better. But it's not a very deep spoon. Luckily, this is not very soupy. Oh, you can't see. It's not a very deep spoon. But yes, I can open. Oh, anyway. Okay, we'll be back with the sheaf project now. Yum, yum, yum. Apocalypse food. Okay, excuse the weed eater. Um, okay, I'm not going to put stitching everywhere because I feel very lazy today. And I'm just trying to scuff up everything. So when I oil it, it looks, I don't know, worn and army-ish. Okay, so our seam looks fine. Now these things need to be burnished, but I think I'll just rub it with a candle. And then, well, I think I'll first stitch it, then rub it with the candle, the sides. Or maybe I'll first wait form it a bit to the knife. Because um, I did that last night, but it's not tight enough. might be okay for now okay Dale's gold metal dubbin I love this stuff for anything leathery okay look three stitches well three holes three holes and four holes and then it made that thing looks like this I'm pretty much done with it now just gonna rub this stuff on here it is wonderful it nourishes the what's this stuff leather And it makes everything look pretty. Hopefully it looks cool because I scuffed it up. There we go. We have a welt in there. It's sanded very badly, but it still looks better than that horrible nylon sheath it had. Sorry about the weed eater. Okay, let's put in the knife. So here's the knife, the sheath. It fits in there. At least now it doesn't fall out. We'll put on lanyards on everything, and I think that will work nicely mess kit done stay safe happy and have a good one goodbye